right, Uncle Sam FM here. Very excited to do this video. I have created an updated version of my database file that expands the United States pyramid. It expands the Canadian pyramid. I do seek to emulate real life uh, as much as reasonably possible with these files. Um, the FM editor limits me. For example, <clears throat> what you're looking at here is MLS, Major League Soccer. And in real life, um, LAFC joined the league this year, and then that's reflected in the game. You have an expansion to start the 2018 season where LAFC joins the league. There's an expansion draft. And um, also in real life, you have three more clubs joining the league soon. Um, FC Cincinnati is going to join immediately. They join next season. They've rushed their expansion. And so... Um, they also, you also have Nashville SC, which I believe joined the, plans on joining the league in either 2020 or 2021. Uh, Inter Miami, well, Beckham's Miami franchise will be joining the league. They've not announced any branding yet. So I went and found a pretty cool concept designed by a, an artist on the internet, Duego Guerra, Guevara, um, who designed an Inter Miami franchise concept. So I just used that so that it's just not this blank Miami team. Uh, in, in my file so so what you see here is is all 26 teams are in the league um it has to be that way in fm because trying to expand it to 26 um causes the the file to or causes the game to not generate the 2018 season and beyond you can only play 2017 so obviously that's not what we want but i did manage to make it to where if you just start the game right away 2017 first season you can have all 26 teams in. Now, that means there won't be an expansion draft. That means LAFC is in the league immediately. It also means Nashville, Cincinnati, Miami are all in the league immediately. And so there is that limitation. Um, FM, and, you know, I don't blame SI. This kind of stuff, I'm sure, is challenging, especially when you have a league like MLS where uh, they're basically kind of making it up as they go along. But this is, um, this is what I've done. I've created Major League Soccer. Um, with 26 teams, including all the expansion teams. So real quick, just to kind of look at the expansion teams, you got FC Cincinnati here. That is their logo. Um, I assume they'll keep that logo. I've taken um, their real-life kits, <clears throat> and I've adapted them so that they're Adidas, which uh, Major League Soccer has a deal with Adidas so that all kits are made by Adidas. And so I made sure that this game reflects that. Um, you have Cincinnati. This is the Inter Miami concept. This is their logo that I found. And these are the Adidas versions of the kits that he designed. Um, so I've implemented that into the game. And then Nashville SC, the logo is assuming that they maintain their, USS, their USL logo. And the kits are entirely fantasy. The um, design of the kits I took from uh, a member named Ray Sox. I believe his actual name is Michael Taylor. Um, from sportslogos.net, um, which is a really cool place to go and see where a lot of really creative graphical geniuses. I am not. <laughs> uh, I'm, I can take templates and work with templates, but I'm not a creative graphical artist. Um, but I took one of the, his concepts and I adapted it for Nashville SC. Um, and that's the team that I've taken in this game, but obviously you can take any. Now I will say with... Cincinnati and Miami, their academy teams, you will not be able to sign clubs from them if you use this file or sign players from their academies like you can with the other MLS teams. Um, it's another limitation of the editor. You can't recreate that hard-coded dynamic between MLS club and MLS academy. I managed to sort of cheat the system with Nashville because what I did was I took the old Chivas USA club and, um, well, whatever, change them to Nashville SC because they did have an academy and the game still has them hard that hard coded link um, so I changed Nash Chivas USA to Nashville SC changed the Chivas Academy to the Nashville SC Academy and so I still have that link when you start the game it tells you that your team is that Nashville is going to fold after the first season but you can ignore that because it's not true um, that's something that was hard coded in the game the, in the version where Chivas did fold after the first season, but that's no longer the case. Uh, at least with my file. So, um, so 
that's MLS. I did, uh, and this is this was true of the other versions. Um, the All Star Game does still happen. The drafts all still occur. Uh, I did also add a couple of rivalry competitions where you have uh, the. MLS results between Columbus and Cincinnati factor into the Buckeye Derby, which Ohio is the state where Columbus and Cincinnati both are. And so I created this state rivalry between the two. Um, I've done the same. This one was in the old version, but the Sunshine Shield, which is Florida is the Sunshine State. And so um, Miami and Orlando kind of play for the Florida State Championship or the Sunshine Shield. I also revived the American Super Classico between the Galaxy and LAFC. It used to be the Galaxy and Chivas USA, which if you, I think if you see the history, it shows that, yeah. Um, and then I also added <clears throat> the Southeast Derby between Atlanta and Nashville, just so that every, you know, they, they both those teams have a Derby competition. They now have a rival as Nashville and Atlanta are relatively close together. Um, both in the southeast portion of the United States. And so um, so you have that. Uh, that is kind of your MLS competitions. Uh, I do have the preseason tournaments are still are still in the game. Uh, the ATX Pro Challenge. Um, we'll just cycle through. The uh, Carolina Challenge Cup, which I've already kind of started the preseason, so you'll see that some of the results have are, you know, already been played. Uh, the Mobile Mini Sun Cup, which used to be the Desert Diamond Cup, but they, in real life that competition rebranded. Uh, the IMG Sun Coast Pro Classic, the Las Vegas Pro Soccer Challenge, the Simple Invitational, which is what my Nashville team is in, the Walt Disney World Pro Soccer Classic, all um, preseason competitions. They're just preseason exhibition tournaments, kind of friendlies in a way. Um, and it's really about getting your team sort of you know, fun little competitive way to get your team ready for the real season um, coming up. Um, also, uh, I've got, of course, the, uh, you know, the USL, which is the second division in American soccer. Um, I, I in, in an old version, I had like the NASL teams in here in this competition, and I had a few concept teams. I try to make it more like real life, so removed the NASL teams. I removed all the concept teams aside from the, the only teams that are here are either teams that are in a USL right now in real life or teams that are joining a league in the future. Some of those teams have not announced their branding. So I did use concepts that I found. For example, the Chicago USL team, they've not announced their branding. So I revived the old Chicago Sting with a kind of a newer logo. Um, Albuquerque FC, this is another, they've not announced their branding in real life, so I used one from Michael Taylor, I think, um, who I already mentioned. Um, so, all 40 teams in USL are teams from real life, um, ex with the exception of some that, some real life teams that I've branded because they've not announced their branding. Um, and the format is the same. It, it assumes that they maintain their format even after the expansion. So two conferences with the top eight teams in each conference advancing to the championship playoffs. <clears throat> after USL, you've got college soccer, um, which this is the non-conference slate. But then I do also have all of the college soccer conferences represented. And so um, you can play college soccer. But it's it's not you know it's it's not perfect. Um, like you're not going to have a full squad of players. You may never have a full squad of players. Um, it exists mainly to get playing time for a lot of the guys who are going to eventually join uh, the MLS draft. When the MLS has their super draft, they'll pull players out of the NCAA college soccer. Um, and then I do also have the academy divisions. Um, I think there's seven. And so all of your MLS Academy teams are represented in these divisions. So you can see your youngsters get some games. Um, you can scout them. But again, limitations to FM, you won't be able to scout all of the Academy teams unless you go and manually do it. Um, so it does take a little more work, but it is, it's, you know, it's kind of a fun little addition to the game for the American soccer fan. Uh, I do also have the PDL um, functions differently in 
as in re, as in I'm sorry as in, yeah as in real life as it's they don't loan the way it works in real life it's a place for college players to get a little extra games get a few extra games a few extra soccer try to make it to where they loan get players from college but they don't um, but you you uh, most MLS teams have an affiliation with a PDL team so you can loan some of your under 23 guys down to there and let them get some action uh, and then I do also have the NPSL um, and just like you know it, it, FM has limitations the USA is heavily hard coded in, in, in FM so unless you just start from scratch there's going to be things that don't function cleanly um, in FM for, for the American teams and so um, for example some of your NPSL teams they won't populate with players it looks like uh, this region did well there you go there was one that's all gray the armada um, u23 squad is all gray so it can be a little frustrating the little rock rangers if you want to play as little rock rangers you're going to start with an all gray squad and there's not much that can be done with that um, unfortunately and it's it really amounts to kind of the hard coding limitations so that is the u.s um the American pyramid. And again, I've tried to make it as real life as possible with the limitations of the editor. Um, but I did also um, add the Canadian pyramid. And this again is as close to real life as we can get. So this is the Canadian Premier League. They intend on having 10 teams in the league. And um, right now there's been seven announced. However, only five, I think, have announced their branding. So I've represented that as well as I could in, in, in this game. So Calgary FC, this is Calgary's franchise. Logo is real. Kits are not. None of the kits are real because no, none of the teams have announced their kits, at least not that I've seen. Um, so then you have FC Edmonton. Again, logo is real. Their kits are the last ones that the FC Edmonton club used when they were in ANASL. They folded, but they are reconstituting and joining the CPL uh, this is FC Regina they're a club from real life um, but I think it's a youth club however um, they are not officially joining the CPL and uh, but the CPL has said they want a team in Regina or Sask Saskatchewan so uh, I just added Regina um, just to kind of represent that that is the league will have a team there. Hamilton has announced that they will have a club. They've not announced their branding yet. And so this is a concept that I found somewhere on the internet. HFX, that is their logo, not their kits. Um, Moncton, that is their, another city that the league intends on having a team in. Um, but they've not announced any branding or kits or anything. Uh, Quebec City. Uh, again, fantasy logo, fantasy kits. Valor FC is a real team that will be in Winnipeg. The kits are fantasy. Uh, Vancouver Island has not announced their branding, so that's a fake logo, fake kits. And then York 9, that logo is real, um, but the kits are, again, fantasy. Um, so that's the CPL. I have also added the League One Ontario, and this is obviously Ontario's... Um, provincial league I have all 17 teams there the only difference is Toronto at three um, FC that's Toronto's Academy competes in this however if I put them in here I don't think they would populate with players so I left Toronto's Academy in the Academy and then I've, I've kept North North uh, the North Toronto Nitros here um, they were a real life team but they left League One Ontario this year but for the purposes of this file I left them in um, then this is I'm not gonna try to pronounce it but this is Quebec's Premier League um, all eight teams from real life are here as well as two teams that have announced they will be joining the league in the very near future which is Celtics um, to Hart Richelieu and CS Montiel um, they are joining the league and so I've added them Every team twice, 18 games. There also is a uh, the real format is in the league. Is is I, I've recreated all the real formats from real life for all of these leagues. Um, do you have the CSL in? 
these are the all nine teams that compete in the CSL this year. Um, and then I have the Pacific Coast Soccer League. Um, those are all the same teams that are in the league in real life. And then the Canadian Soccer League second division um, as well. Um, both League One Ontario and the Premier uh, Quebec Premier League have cups and try to follow as real life as possible in the format of those. <clears throat> now, continental competitions. Club competitions, I have added a few. We'll start with the Amway Canadian Championship. So this is um, this is the tournament where it's uh, Canadians call it the Voyagers Cup. The winner of this tournament goes to the CONCACAF Champions League. Same teams and formats uh, from 2017 and 18. And then in 2019, I have the Canadian Premier League champion joining the Canadian Championship Tournament. Um, so that they have a chance to qualify for the Champions League. However, obviously the three MLS Canadian teams are going to have the big advantage there. They also join the competition later. <clears throat> um, North American competitions, I do also have, I've, well, we'll get to the kind of the revivals in a moment, but uh, I have also added the Campeones Cup. And this is a competition, it, it, it's a real life competition that starts this year, 2018. So in my game, I have it set to start in 2018 as well. It pits the Campeon de Campeones champion from Mexico against the MLS Cup champion. And it's a one-off, one-match situation. I also have added a couple of, um, revived a couple of old competitions. Uh, the Pan Pacific Championship is an old competition. It doesn't... It, you know, you used to pit the um, the MLS champion against the K League champion from Korea, the J League from Japan, and then the Australian League champion, the A League. So I have it starting in the second season, so in 2018. Um, and then I also revived the old um, Super Liga, North American Super Liga, and you have club championships for the Central American teams. Um, Honduras, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Belize, Panama, El Salvador, Nicaragua. I think that's it. And then you have a Caribbean Cup championship. And so um, this competition served as the NAFU championship, which is the North American Football Union, which included Canada, Mexico, and the United States. They kind of dropped it because it was really hard for them to do Champions League and Superliga. And so... I went in and revived it because now in real life, the Champions League, MLS, team, MLS, Mexico, Canadian teams don't enter the Champions League until the second phase of it, which is the knockout stage, which takes place in early in the year. So I have the Superliga um, running in the fall now, which does, it pits the Amway Canadian Championship winner with the top three teams from MLS Supporter Shield, top three American teams. And then the top four teams from Mexico all compete in the Superliga. Um, just a fun little competition. It has a group eight team group stage with the top two going to the semifinals. It's how it worked when it when it happened in real life. Um, I used to have in my file. I used to have the um, CFU, the Concacaf League, and the Concacaf Champions League. However. I still have these, but I've implemented, um, I've, I use Clausen, C-L-A-A-S-S-E-N. His, he created some and my file works with it. So you have the uh, CFU club championship for the Caribbean teams. Um, you have, sorry, you have the CONCACAF league, which the first year doesn't happen because Olympia won the 2017 edition in real life, so they've just got them winning it and then moving on to the um, 2018 version of the Champions League. So, I again, my file works with these, with his, So and he does a great job. There's no reason not to use his. Um, his probably works better than mine, truth be told. Um, I'm not like this master editor. I just kind of picked up things along the way and I've, you know, I do what I can to recreate the American um, leagues uh, from real life as best I can. Uh, I do also have some international competitions. Um, I did recreate the CONCACAF Nations League, which this was 
kind of pattern after the American, after the European leagues, uh, European nation, the UEFA Nations League. There's a, and there is promotion relegation. There's an ABC with the um, there's four. I'm sorry, yeah, four groups of three in the Concacaf Nations League. You play every team twice, and if you're in leagues B and C, you can win promotion to the next league up. And if you're in the uh, if you win your group, if you're in the Nations League A and you win your group, you go on to the semifinals to try and win the CONCACAF Nations League. So it's it's a fun little competition. I've not gotten that far yet. It doesn't start till 2019. <clears throat> it doesn't start there until real life, so I have it the same in mind. I also have the USA January camp. Every year, the United States has a camp in January, a national team camp. Usually it's just for domestic players or Scandinavian um, for leagues who their 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 league calendar runs like the American calendar, which is just a year calendar, uh, spring, summer, fall calendar. <clears throat> and so um, now they they'll at the end of that camp though they play one or two friendlies against different countries that'll send a B team. Um, so in in this example, the U.S. played Jamaica and Bosnia uh, looks like they tied Jamaica and lost to Bosnia um, so it's something from real life that I put in so that it you know because y- you can't you can't get them to schedule a January friendly in the game otherwise so so I created that um, I also have kind of a fantasy competition in 2016 um, the United States hosted the Copa America Centenario, which is the South American Championship Tournament, and they brought in all 10 South American teams and six North American teams. So I, And they talked about having it every four years. So I created it, the Copa Nueva Mundo, um, which is Cup of the New World. Um, the idea is it's, the, it's a championship tournament for nations in the Western Hemisphere. So it takes eight teams from CONCACAF, eight teams from Kami Bowl, and they have a 16-team World Cup-style tournament where you've got four groups of four with the top two, each group going to the quarterfinals, just like it was played in 2016. And so um, so all of these files are available at the SI forums, and I'll post a link to them. Um, it's kind of just a fun expansion for those of you who like the American leagues, who you you like MLS, um, maybe you are American, maybe you just enjoy the challenge of playing in the United States. Uh, if you do, I would highly recommend you download my files. So that is um, that is my custom database. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. But this is Uncle Sam signing off.